Hello everyone and welcome to Stray, the game with a perfect 10 on Steam because it deserves it from what I've seen. Now if you don't follow me on Twitter, maybe you don't know this, but I, I, I like cats a little bit. I think cats in general are so stupid and so... What? What I was gonna say was, I, they're so stupid that they're so funny, you know? Because they don't, like, they're just little guys. Think about this. They wake up, meow, give me some goddamn food, and I'm just gonna walk all over everything. I don't care what I'm doing. I'm just gonna walk over there, walk over here, maybe even jump up there, do this, do that, get pet, go to bed. You little gremlin guy, what are you thinking about? Maybe we're gonna find out today, so strap yourselves in, grab yourself a snack, some water. Very important, because it's warm, and without further ado, let us begin. Uh, max art graphics. I'm trying to get immersed here. I want to know what it's like to be a cat. All right, let's go. Slot one, easy peasy. It's raining. I do like rain a lot. I'm just excited to chill out a little bit today. You know, going from a set. Hey. <laughs> What's up, guy? Going from Elden Ring Ascended mod to this is the best. So we got the four horsemen of the apocalypse, I see. And this is me. Are we called Stray? Is that what's going on? And also, oh, it looks so fluid and nice for me right now. I can talk to them? Yo. Purr at him. <gasps> Lick me. More. More. No, come back. Do the same. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. Fuck you, man. I won that. Black cats are my favorite. Play with it. Hey. Is that a way to zoom in? <gasps> yes. That's why I came here. I feel like I'm being put up with here. Like, I feel like they just think I'm annoying. <gasps> okay, zoom is this. Oh, wait, that's cool. I like that. Uh, I'm just pressing buttons right now. <laughs> oh! He attacked the cameraman! And the cameraman is you guys. I'm sorry. He's looking at it. <laughs> Alright, whatever, let's go. Sleep with the boys. <sighs> we need some robot friends. I can feel it. That's what we really need. So do we have like a dedicated story? I mean, we can't really talk, right? So it's gonna have to be told through the environment and others. Nice detail of the ear there. Yeah, there has to be a lot of good stuff on the cat hair that makes it a cat. Little micro expressions on a cat. I wanna know the creative process of this, how it's made like... Do they just have cats in the studio to observe at all times? And we're also missing one, aren't we? That's so pretty, man. Overgrown. Inside the wall. With some strange symbol language. Dude, I just looked over to my right monitor and it looks like real life for a little bit. So gameplay-wise, I'm not expecting like Super Mario 64 triple backflip shit, right? It's probably just gonna be like, press this to go over there. Uh, go over to the side to dodge this. Do that. But who knows, maybe we'll get a sword and roll around a little bit. That's the next step in game design is someone needs to make a game where you play as a cat with a sword in its mouth and you have actual souls like combat man it's actually sad it's gonna not look that good because of youtube compression because of all the goddamn grass and leaves but man this is pretty go 2k if you can it looks so good what is this can we take this oh, i'm so like <laughs> wait, wait wait there's a plant over there that's a different color than the rest can we pick it up craft some shit we are meowing Together with the boys. They are responding. Oh, no, you are there, buddy. What's up? Can I join? Let's climb up. Hey. I just tried climbing up a ladder as well. Like, that's that's how I'm conditioned to play video games. Let me try that. <laughs> Why to stop? Why would I? Oh, I need to do it myself? This right here. This is fucking gameplay. Fine, we're going. Oh, I can run? Okay. Look at all this speed. I'm speed running. We're speed running us now. Drink this. Oh, this is good water. Can you not stand in the water, please? Can you guys keep up? Because I'm out. Are that, that's, yeah, that's going to be like little places you can go in secrets and stuff, right? Surely. This I was talking about this the other day, literally, on uh, an Elden Ring video. Just how I love, like, this overgrown aesthetic on structures and stuff. Look how good this shit looks. So nice. Now, what do we got here? Human personnel only. 
And both has got the weird language and we've got three different thingies. This is when we find out we're a shape-shifting guy and we're actually going to take over a human guy's body by killing him and sucking his soul out of his body to then enter into the secret facility that makes cats shift us. Wait, you can, oh, you can hold to do chain jumps, okay? Can I die in this game? Oh, look at that. All right, buckaroos, I'm coming. I don't even know who actually made this. I just saw a cat game when it got really oh, the announced and I was like, yes. Because holy shit, it looks so good. I do think cats in general, when going for a real Realistic look are going to look uncanny for at least 10 or 20 more years. You know what I mean? Like the environment here, look at, just look at this right here. It looks incredible. If you think about it, you probably won't even notice much difference when you look at some other less known mammals or even fish and stuff. Cause you're not like, oh, this, this has got like some features that I'm so used to. I mean, some are obviously same with lizards maybe, but cause we're so used to seeing little cats and stuff, it just can't look right. But of course, it still looks extremely cute and adorable, and I love it. Oh no, it's gonna be Rain World all over again. No! No! We land on our feet. Why have you done this? Nah, no, I quit the game. I'm actually refunding him. What the fuck? No, 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 no. I'm actually for real refunding now. What are you talking about? <laughs> you start playing as one of the others. This guy just died. Alright, we're here. I'm we. You're a prick. Game developer, I want to know who you are now because of other reasons. I write a very... We're dead. We're dead. Someone have an Estus or some shit? What was this? Who's seen... Are we going to meet some other animals? Or is it all going to be cats? I can't tell if that's alive or... That's a robot. That's blinking. Wait. Yeah, it's a little robot blob, guys. I'm alive but hurt. I need help. Right now. Yeah, lick it. It'll make it feel better. So nice uh, sound design. I like this. Got a weird mannequin or some trash. I can't actually go in this water. It's too much. Ah, I can run on normal ground. I see. I can't see shit. Where's my cat eye vision? Uh, well, let's sneak in here. See what's going on. Oh, under... Dead city. Okay. Well, that's fucking sick. Okay, we can jump still. What? What? I'm talking right now. Seeing if anyone can hear me. Lots of numbers. So they still use numbers. Is that point in creating a new language, I wonder? Unless they developed it by themselves. The robot bastards. <laughs> What's up, man? I don't see that CCTV footage. It's just me stood there looking at it. Like those funny fish eye cats that I have over 500 pictures of. Yo. Oh, wait, he's fucked. No. Jump over him. What? Hell. That way. What does it say? Chapel. Chapel loop? Don't jump in the green water, little guy. With skulls on the things. So much detail in the environment. It's so good looking. Follow me, cat. Are we the last hope of humanity? They were still being uh, looked at by cameras. What's this? I thought we were going to put it on our head. Alright, so we're going to collect water or what? Give me this water. Shit. Whatever. Let's go with it. I'm sure we'll need it in a sec. I want it on my head, though. Oh, we're going to get stuck here. Okay, I was about to be really scared we're gonna go in there and just get fucking mangled. Paint? <coughs> Combat in this game is immaculate. Let's push it all over. You'll probably get, like, an achievement if you push over all paint in the world. Haha, <laughs> idiots. Take it all. We're just measuring how far down there is in case we were to jump. What? Uh, what? What's in there? Follow me. I'm trying. Look at in there. I want to go in there. This game actually looks way too good. And I've said that like what, five times already. Oh, we're getting a little, little shit like this. Push this down. It's going to break it. Sweet. Don't get hurt on the... Okay. We're good. Now we're going to... I like the detail. And then... I'll just quickly do this. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you're gonna like tarnish the entire damn carpet. I mean, we are. All right, who is first to stand and do that for 24 hours? I swear I have this television. Well, not anymore. We had this. I want very, very similar. We had a little bit more wide. It wasn't. <laughs> the fuck am I talking about? I want food though. That's what I want. What? Oh, it's water. Drink it. We've got some of this. We're just gonna use this. Oh, elevator? This is actually a spiritual successor to Bloodborne. What have you scared me for? I was just, I was on to jump in this bucket. <laughs> it kind of worked. Up there. Okay. Get him! I can't remember what's happening. <gasps> Fre oh! Are you good, man? I'll turn him off. Fuck. Talking to him might work. Can I press on it again? No. It's a great sound. 
What are my tail just go up? Oh, now it's all blue and shit. I'm gonna get you one day. Cutscene, cat cutscene, cutscene. I need to drink water. I don't like these guys. Look at them. When then turned off, they look like tardigrades. Mm. Mm. Wait, I'm, I'm drinking water for the fuck. No, we're getting chased by. Why are you chasing me? Are you parasites? Don't hurt me. God, I can't stop looking at all this fucking shit around me. Look how good this looks. No! Shake him off. Hello. We outie. <laughs> Run into them and fuck them up. Ew. Yeah, look at that. Infection? What if we go the other way? It get off my butt. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. We're running. Jump. Ha. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my ass. All right, tell me the next thing. Camera. Follow me over there. Yeah, but I want to meow. It worked. Holy shit, I'm powerful. We do have special powers. Oh, oh. What is this? You can push it over? I don't fall, though. We're good. Uh, who do you want to check around here? Help. Cat man with shirt on. Can I get a shirt? Yeah, I wonder, like... You know, because it's like, help, as in, you can get help over here. Or is it like, you need to help us? Possibly both. I, it's a basketball here. And there's a basket up there. Let me play basketball. <laughs> How can I not believe I have powers when that just happened right in front of our very eyes? Go in here. <gasps> we can be in here. Oh, yes. Best ever. Meow. And it's reverbed. And then we use that to get up here. And to get up here. Oh my god, we're geniuses. Meow, 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 meow. This part? Fuck you. Oh, that was good aim. Again, we gotta get down there at some point. So I guess we're going around. Let's go. Oh, no, not again. Not you. I. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> do, 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 do. Go over here. Go up here. Crawl up here. Hiya. The power of a legend. If you make a game where you can actually move around like this, it would be fun as fuck to explore an open world, you know? Because there are things and places you can only go because you're a little cat guy. And you aren't a human or humanoid. Now, of course, there have been workarounds where you can, like, become a rat or a cat or whatever the hell in games and you can get through stuff. But just in general, an open world where you're a cat, that isn't... What the fuck is that game called? I have this weird Steam game. It's called something like Gilbert or something. It's just a cat. It's cat GTA. And unironically really fun. But just, you know, get a higher budget of that and you're good. Doesn't have to look this good though. Like this looks crazily good. Oh yes, yes, yes. Give me all the different pellets. What is that down there? Box? It's the power. Fucking hell we're smart. This is a souvenir for the boys when I find them. I lost it. The flat. Oh, look at them dual monitor fatties. Triple monitor. Need help. Oh, I'm typing. Wait. Wait, that's fake. Because I know I didn't press the X. Ray William Johnson. Okay, okay. What it required for download? I'm typing. There we go. Do you understand? Do you code? Enter the door. Turn on. It worked. G, 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 G. Oh, wait a second. Maybe... Wait, what? Maybe the placement is just a little bit strange. They put an easter egg where you have to type, like, an insanely long code perfectly. <laughs> I can see a little bit in there. Ooh, creepy. Give me access, though. What song is that? I know this song. A song like it, at least. All right, wait. Oh, we're climbing. Going over here. I'm gonna... No, I need that on. There we go. All right, and here we got a cool place. Wait, do we need the things? Well, very nice. Quick, take this. Uh, plug it into this, which turns on that. We got some binary code. Gonna read that. Oh, it says, uh, leave a like on this video. Okay, really cool. Take this one. Maybe put that on here. This one just says, I fucking hate you. We're getting them. What is that? What's that poster? There's gotta be so many little hidden things that only certain people get, right? Surely. Metallica. Is that like another game they've made or will make or is it just completely fiction? Also the thing is like this, this is made in France and th that guy, that frog over there says problem. So they're using numbers and still English. At least the humans that were left here and the same with the keyboard. It was a normal little keyboard there. There we go. What's going to happen now? Hidden door. What a stupid hit. <laughs> we're getting the secret lair. Pull out all the things. Who's this robot gardening guy? He looks cool. I like the music. Oh, what the fuck? No, no, no. Is someone in there? The cryo chamber? Talk to me. Help. 
It's not working. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> Here he is. Are we staying on? We're staying on it. Let's uh fuck his head up. Go over here. I want to open it up and see if there's like a dead guy in there. Push this down. Drone companion? <gasps> no way. There is simply no way. Oh, 360. Oh, hey, what's up, new friend? Eat him. How do we get you to work again? Do I have you got any batteries? I'm gonna put you in here. We are putting you in there. Nice. Geniuses. We're doing it. Uploading. The lucky cat worked. He looks like a little fish guy. Doesn't he look like that little... Yeah, he's that little ugly fish. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Blimp. What's up, Blimp? I'm Stray Kids. I am. Yes, yes, pet him. There we go. Oh, he likes it. Let's go, Blimp. It worked. I'm free. Thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city? I am i can't remember my name. It seems my memory's corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. Yeah, well, I'm not going to call you that. That's what it says on my exterior. It's interesting in that city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Thank you. Take keys. Sweet. Very low. Come over here. But I've cat things to do, though. So, yeah, they uploaded their consciousness onto PCs. Onto a network. You're going to have to put this on. What's their kitchen? And what's their food stuff? I didn't check. <gasps> yes! Shirt. We got it. Why, why do cats do this? Is this a thing they do? Or is this based on that funny meme of the cat that... <laughs> Why? Like, it's just like, oh, it doesn't it doesn't feel like normal, so I don't know what or how to act. Silly little fuck. Oh, shit. I can't get used to this. Blimp, get out of here. You'll get used to it. Yeah, I'm sure. The digitized key installed in the thing. All right, inventory. Wait, should I have an inventory? Holy shit. And we can rotate it and look at it. That's very sick. And with memory... Oh, sensors detecting memory data at proximity. So if we find like a big uh, beachy thingy painting, we open this up and it's like Breath of the Wild style. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Select keys. Use torchlight. What? Now nah, we need a cat horror game now. If a game developer was ever like, what the fuck game do we make? Just make a game we know in cat form. It's going to work. I oh, need a code. It's right here. Code is uh, 3748. 3748. But wait, something I missed. I think it's a piano I can play on. Yes. Wait. This is unironically better than, like, I think 95% of the population. Actually, how what percentage can play piano, I wonder? To just some extent. We're getting out of here. Oh, yes. Wow, look, that's what I'm saying. That's what I've been saying the entire damn fucking video. That elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. I know we need to go up. How do you know that? Do you work for the police? We're going in. We. <laughs> Not look happy about it. Yeah, it's all fucked. But man, it's too pretty to not like. Oh, Ooh! actually, best day ever. Can I get back in? Oh, and there it is, the memory. Wait, I remember the outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I'd go there. Promised who? Oh no, that's gonna be sad, isn't it? The postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. How did cats of all animals survive out there? I mean, that's clearly more stuff than just cats. Got a postcard, new item. Why do I have these memories? How did I get here? Let's keep going. So, was that the memory or can I quickly uh, check it? Oh, there we go. All right, so it does it automatically, kind of. Oh, and there's also like a little button that does so you can check out what's going on. I've been to the outside. Okay, it's just a log more than it is fine to these things, it seems. I'm a fucking cat. I cannot get over how good this looks. It's actually ridiculous. There's definitely some post-processing going on here too, and the sharpness is clearly also making the game look a little bit better. But even then, all the textures and all the variety and just everything going on looks too nice. Or maybe it's just a bias towards the abandoned Asian architecture aesthetic that's fogging me up. Nah, it's not. The graphics are actually really good. Translate? Oh, we can translate shit. 
safe zone. Well, that sounds great. I'm gonna come back to the boys being a fucking mech cat. Are we going in this again? We is infested to the core there. I wonder what happened. Just human meat. Hey, the fuck are you trying to do? Oh shit! No! <laughs> Help! Wait, but wait. Can they even get up here? Ew! Look at them. Half Life Three. This. <gasps> Is it friend? Can I get friend? The slums. I want a friend. <laughs> you scared of me? You shouldn't be. Please, uh, I fa at least he didn't like... Oi! What? Alert! At least he didn't pick up that thing. The broom has started hitting me. That's nice, at least. They wouldn't do that. They would throw a cat off a cliff, though, and make it suffer and cry and fucking be in pain. We got the cinematic bars. Widescreen head. Everyone's scared of me. This feels good. You're putting this cat through a power trip right now, and he's not going to be able to feel the same after this. First hour scared? Nah, I'm not. Oh, look, it's Kelsifer. Whoa. It's time for our first boss battle. What up, fellas? <gasps> oh, shit. This is it. Is he gonna pss, pss. <gasps> I trust this guy is cool. Hey buddy. Meat. Oh, he's talking shit, I think. Seems to have their own language. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering and why. You know, sir. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Let's go. Well, that's sweet of you. Oh, he's talking. It turns out we're actually a cat embedded with a human brain stuck, but we can only meow and do cat things because the urges are too strong. And everyone's chilling. Robots got hats and clothes. Talk with Guardian. You look lost. What do you need? Uh, I have a postcard. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This of it is not operational. Everyone knows what it is. Oh, that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except for the outsiders. So, like, how long have those little things been in here? Because we kind of opened up the thing and they went in there. Or did they go outside because it opened up to get some stuff and then went in when they saw me? I should have only been here for this little amount of time. So, clearly, they've been here for before, actually. They're all gone except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives up high in that building with the orange neon sign cool with <laughs> little sleeping things on the thing show this you can show this to everyone very pretty you can get their names from it I really thought you'd take the other bit i've never seen that thing work and i'll be 374 years old tomorrow it's called roman it's fucking cool Beautiful dream, what a shame, it's just a dream. Nothing up there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? I mean, I'm going to, I guess. So I'm going to rub my meditation with strange images. My bad, my bad. He spotted you. What's this? Translate this. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their legacy. Left us with? Are we fucking space traveling or are we extinct? It's one or two ways in these kind of situations. Well, I think that is going to have to do it for this episode on Stray. I'm expecting this to just be a one-off, but I do actually want to finish this game myself, I think. Unless you guys, like, really want to see me play the rest of this game. But if you enjoyed and maybe want to see the series, please leave a like. Helps out so much. Leave a funny comment too i love reading them check out my twitter second channel stream all the links are in the description of course subscribe if you're new around here and as always my name is smith and thanks for watching